All right, so what do we have here? Uh, we're solving the compound inequality. Give your answers in interval notation. So this time, they're just giving us, it looks like, and in one or another, and we have to remember what to do for each of the cases. All right, so let's do maybe two steps at once to kind of simplify. So let's subtract 2x, and let's add 9. So we have 6 minus 2 is 4x, and then it's greater than. And then we have, now again, if you need to do your subtraction, that's going to be a 1, that's 9. So 9, 10, 11, and it's going to be a 12, and it's going to be a negative. So now we divide by 4. So x is going to be greater than a negative 3. And now this one, we have to do two or three steps along the way. So we first, we'll distribute. So we have 2 times negative 9. That's negative 18x. That's going to be minus 10, minus 2, greater than or equal to minus 6x, minus 36. All right. So we can combine like terms. We have a negative 18x is going to be greater than, oh, whoops, plus, minus, I forgot the number we just added there. And then it's going to be minus 12, greater than or equal to minus 6x, minus 36. All right. Uh, do we want to divide by negative or not? Well, let's not divide by negative. So let's add 18x. And then let's add 36. All right, so 36 minus 12. 6 minus 2 is going to be a 4. 3 minus 1 is going to be a 2. And that's going to be greater than or equal to 18 minus 6 is going to be 12x. Divide by 12. And so it's going to be 2 greater than or equal to x. Okay, So now we have a negative 3 and we have a positive 2. So x is going to be greater than negative 3. So it's going to be an open circle. And x is going to be less than 2, or equal to. So it's going to be a closed circle. And it's going to go that way. OK, so here, remember, you have to start with a variable, no matter what, and then read to the other side. So x is less than or equal to 2. Now, here, our intersection doesn't count. So that's going to be a negative 3 with parentheses. And we're going to go up to 2 with a bracket. <clears throat> And we had to do the and, which means the intersection. <clears throat> all right, now we're going to do an or, which means we're going to have all of it. So in this case, if we had this one been an or, that would be the whole number line. But we didn't have a whole number line because we had and. All right, <clears throat> let's say, let's subtract 4x, but let's also subtract 5. 9 minus 4 is 5x less than those cancel and we have minus 30 minus 5 more it's minus 35 divide by 5 x is less than negative 7 or now here we have the distribution again so we have to do that so we have 6x and we have plus 3 minus 6 less than or equal to 9x plus 3 okay well, we can simplify. We have like terms. So we have 6x, and then we have minus 3, less than or equal to 9x plus 3. And if we want positive x's, let's subtract 6x here. Then we'll subtract 3 here. So those cancel. Those cancel. We have minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, less than or equal to 9 minus 6 is 3x. Now we divide by 3. So we have negative 2 less than or equal to x. All right, so graphing. Now remember, this is or. So here we have a negative 7. Here we have a negative 2. x is less than negative 7, so it's an open circle that way. Here, x is greater than or equal to a negative 2. So we have everything that way. Now with or, we want to include everything, this one or this one or both. So we're going to go from negative infinity to negative 7 parenthesis union. Now we go from bracket 2 to positive infinity. And then that would be our solution. OK. A couple more. Uh, so it looks like here we have 0x and then minus 10 
greater than minus 4x plus 18. Well, if that's 0x, that means that that doesn't have anything. So it's gone. And so let's subtract 18 here. So we have negative 28 is greater than negative 4x. Divide by negative 4. Ding, 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 ding. That's going to be become that way. And divide by negative 4. Now we have x here. 28 divided by 4 is 7, and those are going to be positive. Now this is or again, so now we distribute. So that's going to be a minus 10x, then it's going to be a minus 10, then it's going to be minus 2 greater than or equal to 4x plus 2. All right, so uh, we have common terms. So we have a negative 10x minus 12 greater than or equal to 4x plus 2. Now, if we want positive x's, let's add 10x to both sides. Here we can subtract 2 from both sides. So those are gone. Here, minus 12 minus 2 is minus 14, greater than or equal to, here we have 14x. Now we divide both sides by 14. We have negative 1 greater than or equal to x. All right, so we'll again, drawing what we have. Here's our negative, oops, negative one, not seven. And here is our seven. So x is greater than seven, so it's an open circle to the right. Here we have x is less than or equal to negative one, so it's a closed circle to the left. And now it's an or, so we're gonna include all of it. So it's gonna go from negative infinity to negative one. Oops, not with the parentheses, it's gonna be a bracket because that one has a closed circle. Union, now it's an open circle, so that is the parentheses, seven to positive infinity, okay? Now, what about the next one? Well, here, that zero basically is nothing. So what we can do is we can add three x to both sides. So we have 5 plus 3 is 8x, less than 48, divide by 8, x is less than 6. Now we have and, so we have to have the intersection. Now again, we're going to distribute. So we have a negative, well, let's put a little higher here. A negative 3x, then 3 times that's going to be plus 9, minus 6, less than or equal to 9x, plus 99. All right, so maybe what we need to do is, let's say, combine like terms. So we have a negative 3x plus 3, less than or equal to 9x plus 99. Okay, so that's not too bad. So then what are we going to do? So then we're going to add 3x to both sides, and we're going to subtract 99. Well, 99 minus 3 is going to be 96, but it's going to be a negative. That's going to be less than or equal to 9, 10, 11, 12 x. Okay. And so now what we need to do is we need to divide by 12. And so now 96 divided by 12, that is, if we take 8 times that, so that's going to be a negative 8 less than or equal to x. And now we've got our two pieces. Now we draw our line. So we have a negative 8. We have a positive 6. So x is less than 6, so it's open circle. Here, x is greater than or equal to a negative 8, so it's a closed circle. And our intersection, so it's going to go from, a, because this is and, so we have to have intersection. It's going to go from negative 8 2, a 6, and now this one's not included, so we have to put a parenthesis. Okay. All right, so let's pause there and we'll come back for more.